Hi, good morning and welcome back. Last time we talked about that we should touch upon in our next exchange with you. So thank you for being present, being tuning in. Our intention is to spread this word of beautiful word of Vedanta, the supreme knowledge, which unfortunately has got lost by the influence of the Western material world. But you know, surprisingly today, we are not conscious about this ancient Vedanta. And we're going to talk about today consciousness, which we need to be conscious about. But you know, the beautifully, the Western world, the American, the Europeans, and the rest of the Asia Pacific, they are now getting into Chinese call it Qi, Japanese call it Qi, and we in the Vedanta used to call about consciousness. They are tuning in. You and I need to become aware. So our intention is through these series of five to 10 minutes of talks and exchanging information, bringing about the ancient wisdom of the knowledge of the masters of thousands of years old through the Upanishads and Vedanta. Today we we'll touch upon the consciousness. You know, like we had talked about earlier, like fish in the water, they are not aware of water. That that fish is swimming and existing because of water, fish is not aware. You and I are not aware of this consciousness of the universe which is around us. Think of it, consciousness. We touched upon a little bit, everything around us is consciousness, it's conscious experience. Right now, if I am not conscious, I cannot talk, you cannot hear, you may be physically present, virtually present, either way, but you cannot be tuned in if you're unconscious or if you're in coma. The, because you're conscious, you're having a conscious physical experience through your five senses. That is those hear, see, touch, taste, feel like that. What about your inner world? This is the physical world with the five senses that are taking us outside and experiencing the world outside and through the inputs, through the brain and going into mind and we are as per the status of our mind, we are rationalizing like it or don't like it, yes, 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 no, 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 our acceptance and rejections. What about those experiences of within? What is happening within us? Love, hatred, joy, acceptance, analysis, remembering, memory, those are all experiences within. I understand, I don't understand. And all this is happening, a conscious experience. Imagine thousands of years ago, between 2,400 to 3,000 years ago, one student asked his guru the same question what we are talking about today, which the great scientist of today, 21st century, is beginning to talk about, beginning to ask the question. And this student asked almost 3,000 years ago, just think, the Upanishad's name is Keno Upanishad. Keno Upanishad means, Keno means by what? By what Upanishad? What our intention is to make it very simple for modern men, women, elders, adults, children, everybody alive to understand this and make it our own. Remember we talked about last time that your thoughts are very powerful and those thoughts when they are planted into the field of the consciousness is which is the ripe 
soil water well manured sunlight everything available all we have to do is plant the seed that soil that seed is our consciousness in which we are supposed to plant that seed that seed of the thought so let us understand first what was the question this boy asked a powerful question and that question was by what that one light by which i am asking this question by what that one light gurudev that i am thinking by what that one light that i can see you by what that one light by what k no upanishad is asking what is that light that is make me hear that make me perceive the world by what and this is what today david chalmers a great philosopher of oxford university is asking through the book please google it you can find hard facts of consciousness david chalmers c h a l m e r s he's talking about the same question the hard facts of consciousness what is the soft fact of consciousness how do we hear how do we see what makes me my brain sparkle when i see a uh, tv or when i taste the coffee or what happens when i eat the chocolate so what they do they call it epiphenomenal act- activities they plant into the brain and the neural activities they check out with the neuropeptides what is reacting when i'm eating the chocolate why what sparking is taking place when i have a coffee sensation and they say okay so they try to tap in like that but those are the brain functions and by that they come to say okay this is how the brain will react but in the consciousness part of it the hard facts is how do we have this inner feeling this awareness this understanding by what understanding this a little bit easier for you to take on to the next step let's say i have a glass of water here and another glass of water here they both look alike but this one when i sip it is tasting sweet and when i taste this one it tastes salty so by what no you and i know very simply somebody's put sugar in this and somebody put salt in this easy by what sugar salt think by what this light is glowing by what is this camera today is recording by what is that computer through the internet is going to spread the information worldwide by what does the air condition work by what does the fan goes round and round and round by what now notice each one of these activities are different the light is different the air conditioner is got a different activity the fan is rotating round and round is different activity this camera recording is a different activity so as the computer the internet is a different activity and you and i know by what though they're different they're different objects but by what you know it is that electricity if the electricity would not be there none of these functions would operate so the students question is by what 
I will come back to you more on this on my next talk. Soon be back. <laughs>